the final part of our superior question here for arrays, we already did the sort and we displayed it. We already found the item in the array that had the highest power value and displayed which character had that highest power value. And now the third part is we're going to actually have a little game where we're going to pick two random superheroes and determine a winner based on the higher power value. So basically what we have to do is we're going to first of all get two random superheroes. So we know that there are n number of elements in the array. So I'm just going to pick two random numbers and get those positions in the array. The names must be displayed in the memory control like this. And the power values must be compared. If the one is higher than the other, then obviously that one will win. Yeah, we can see the Hulk is beating the abomination. Obviously the Hulk will win. And if they have the same power, then it's a draw. So that's our idea. So let's go. It's not very much with regard to looping and that, but it's just the way we use arrays in this question. So if I come here to battle, I need to determine two random um, positions in the array, and I'll get those as the as the superiors and their values. So I've already got some variables here. I'm going to use that R1 and R2. They are type integer. So I already know there are n elements in the array. So I'm going to say R1 is going to equal to random range. I'm sure there's a random range. Yes. From any number from 1 to n, please. So that will generate any number between 1 and n. So if there's 100 elements in the array, it could be any number from 1 to n. And so hopefully it'll be a nice number. Now I can do the same for R2. And I'll do the same thing. Now there's a, there's a tricky way. They don't actually specify if there's a problem with duplicates. So I don't mind actually doing it like this, but if they did say that the numbers cannot be the same, or they cannot, you cannot have the same character fight itself, then the R2 needs to be a different random number to R1. In that case, you actually need to repeatedly find a random number for random 2 until random 2 is not equal to random 1, when they are different. So what happens if random 2 generates the same number as random 1? It is possible. But I'm going to repeat doing it. Repeat generating a random number for R2. And the only time I want to stop is I'm going to repeat until R1 and R2 are not the same number. If they are the same number, then it's going to keep randomly generating a number for R2 until they're not. So that's the way I can make sure that they are two unique numbers. Well, as, as I said, they didn't specify that exactly in the question. So if you didn't do it that way, that's okay. As long as you randomly generate two numbers. Okay, the next part, we need to obviously display who is versus who. So we need to get the name of each character. So let's have a look what we got here. I'm going to have, I've got these strings over here. So let's call super one. So over here, let's call that super one. Let's call it, the, let's be super one, be the name of the first guy at position R1. So I'm going to say, I'm going to, I just want the name though. So I'm going to copy, let's go copy from my array super but at position R1 because that's the position in the array that I want to get from and I'm going to copy from position 1 till the position of the dollar now I don't know where the dollar is but I've got a variable called dollar which is of type integer so I can use that to find the position so let's go dollar is equal to the position remember it's what you're looking for so I'm looking for the dollar in what you're looking for the dollar in what string so I'm looking for the dollar in the array super string at position R1 so and I want to copy from position 1 till the position of that dollar minus 1 because if we look at how it's stored if you remember correctly I want to copy up until the dollar and then minus 1 so I don't have the dollar in my answer so so I'm going to copy from 1 till dollar minus 1 that should get me the name of that superior. Now I can do this all again for the second superior to so get their name. So I'm going to copy that. I need to copy the dollar part as well because the dollar position in the second uh, or array super R2 could be different to where it is in R1. So I'm just going to copy that code. And instead of super 1, I'm going to say, well, super 2 is going to be the position or the get from array r1 from 1 to the dollar but remember our dollar over here is still finding it in r1 so we must change that as 2 so basically if now we are finding the position of the dollar in the array or super array at position r2 so we find that position and then we copy that particular array value from position 1 till the dollar minus 1 
So there I've got my two names. So now I can actually, let's have a look, we already display in battle and on our line. So now I can display the names of my superheroes. So I can say memo display, or, or I think it's memo battle dot lines dot add, and I'm going to display super one. Then let's have a look, just make sure we display it correctly. And the word versus, so I'm going to put a string there, plus the string versus, and then plus super 2. Now if I save that, if I run it, just to test to see if it's working, no error so far, if I battle, there we go, it seems to be displaying correctly, so there we go, that's displaying my nice little superior 1 versus superior 2, but now I need to find out what the power values are. So let's go, we need to compare those power values. So I've got some variables here, score 1 and score 2, I'll use that to put in the power values. So let's do this over here while we're doing super 1. Let's do score 1, and that is going to equal, we're going to copy from the array super position R1, starting at the position of the dollar plus one. Why? Because if you remember, if we go to the top here again, we want, we've want we got the position of the dollar, we to find the power value, it's the position after that dollar. So it's, and we're going to, we don't know how big that power value is, it could be two characters, we, they, they don't specify exactly how big it can get to, it, it could get three, maybe four characters, we're not sure. So let's make it eight characters just to cover ourselves, because we know that nothing else is happening after the dollar besides the power value. So there we go, so I've got that value, but remember copy is returns a string, and we know score 1 is an integer, so I need to convert from a string to an int. Please acknowledge, I did this straight after I worked out Super 1's name, because this is still using the dollar value, which is in the R1 position of the Super Array. And then I could literally just copy that code again. And I can do it right here for Super 2. But instead of storing in score 1, I'm going to score it, just, or store it in score 2. And instead of array R1, we can do R2. Now that we've got the scores, we just check, just remind ourselves, when we display, we don't actually display the scores. We simply display the winner or draw. So we need the winner plus the, the, the name of the superior that won. So let's go back to our code. So after we've displayed the names of our superiors, then we need to check the scores. Now, if score 1, let's spell it correctly, score 1 is bigger than score 2, then we know that superior 1 won. So then, in that, if that's the case, then we need to display in add. We need to display the text winner. So I'm going to say that, winner. And then we need to add the name of the super that won. Now if score 1-1, one, one, then we know that superhero 1-1. One, one. So that value for that name of that superhero is stored in super1 variable. So I'll just add that. But if it's not that, what happens if score 2 is bigger than score 1? Well then we know that super2 is the winner. So then we're going to do something very similar to what we did over here. But we're going to display the winner with Super 2's value. And if score 1 is not bigger than score 2, and score 2 is not bigger than score 1, then obviously they have the same score. So then else, we will simply display, we don't need the then then, we just display the word draw. Now let's just double check how they display it. So there's no colon after it, so we can just go back here and just take all of that out. And we don't need to display a name of a superior. Obviously put our semicolon there. We don't need semicolons there because we obviously we've got if statements with else's. So let's see if it works. Oh, there's an error there. What's the error? Oh, I forgot my F part. Else if score 2 is greater than score 1. Silly Mr. Long. And there we go. Let's display the battle. Now knowing my superior knowledge, that seems correct. That seems correct. Definitely correct. There we go. So it looks like it's working. Oh, She-Hulk abominations a draw. Obviously, Hulk is a bit stronger than She-Hulk. But there we go. It seems to be working. Our sort is working. 
our superior highest value is working. So it all seems to be working. It looks like our array question of 35 marks is done, and we've got all the 35 marks. I hope you've enjoyed that.